A grandfather from Yalding has become the first person in the world to undergo a new kind of heart surgery, which he says has saved his life. Until now, the pioneering operation's only been trialled in America on pigs. Well, Richard Reach suffered such a severe heart attack last year that he was too weak for conventional operations. So the surgeons at King's College Hospital instead opted to insert a tiny inflatable balloon into his heart to close a leaking valve. Fiona Irving reports. Recovering at home in Yalding, Richard Reach had a massive heart attack in February last year. He puts his survival down to this device placed into the left side of his heart. The first human ever to have one fitted. I know the little balloon saved my life. Well, it's not little. But no, I would say yeah, because it got my heart strong enough to have the surgery that I needed. Because without the balloon, I didn't have much of a blood pressure. Richard's heart was so weak that the valves were leaking. In this groundbreaking operation, these images helped guide surgeons to where the balloon needed to be placed. We're actually looking at, at uh, Mr Richard's mitral valve there. Um, so we're looking right down on the top of it. And as you can see, the valve closes here and then it opens. And when it closes, it doesn't close completely. You can see that actually when it's closed here, it's left, there's two holes really either side here, which is where the leaflets don't quite meet. And blood leaks back through this quite significantly. So how does it work? Well, the balloon-shaped device the size of a small chilli pepper was implanted into his left mitral heart valve to prevent it from leaking. It was connected to a small access port sitting directly below Richard's skin and could be inflated or deflated with a syringe to change the balloon size as Richard's heart improved. Richard's chance of survival under conventional open-heart surgery was only 70%. He had little options left, and so was the perfect candidate for this procedure that had only ever been tested on a pig. The problem is hearts which are so weakened, if the, if the um, valve then would suddenly be repaired or replaced like we do with normal open heart surgery, then there is a lot of extra stress to the heart because suddenly it faces a situation that the heart valve is competent again. After several months, Richard's heart was strong enough that the device was removed and his valve replaced. With clinical trials, it's hoped the device can save the lives of many more patients. Fiona Irving, BBC South East Today, Yolding.